Hey everybody, my name's Sherry. Welcome to my um, studio. Before I get going on today's sneak peek project, I'm going to be using Eden's Garden. So I'm going to show you that and it's a beautiful project in just a second. But I want to remind you that I have started a monthly subscription club. Just $38. You get between $21 and $26 of product every month. You get the supplies to make six cards along with me. So the complete details for that are um, on my website and I will be doing another video. If you go watch this video, then that will um, explain the club a little bit more. And then I'll have another email coming out the day before registration ends. So every month it will be the 10th because I'm just starting it this month. I'm going to move it back a little bit, but everybody who joins by the 10th this month will get a bonus goodie in with their um, thing to be part as part of my founding members. So I'm really looking forward to that. So be watching um, for this and then I'm going to have an alternate for that um, project as well. But for today I have Eden's garden. This card's going to go together so quickly. You will just be amazed. Um, because when you start with beautiful things, then it makes your card making so simple. So here's the stamp set. It comes with five dies. It's a bundle. So this is the one I sat out to use and then I didn't end up using it because I just can't wait to use that, but it's coming. Um, here's a little frame and then these are the three that will be on my project today. And the only, the only words I'm using, hello there out of here. I really like this. My heart is tied to yours, tug if you need anything but it didn't fit on my card. Um, so sometimes when I'm showing you stuff, it's not necessarily the card that I'm making to send, it's just one I'm making. So we are going to do um, this project. Now I will tell you, there are gems that are supposed to be coming. The gems will be my free gift with purchase in November, as long as they're here. And um, there, I will be doing a class. So registration will open up for it soon. I'm trying to wait to see if the gems arrive. If they don't arrive soon, then I'll go ahead and make the class and we can always substitute something if it doesn't. So the stamps and the dies that I just showed you, those will be in the upcom upcoming January to June mini catalog that of course comes out in January. But then the gems and these two papers that go along with this special release part are only available while supplies last. So um, you want to, I'm going to try to use them also not with the set. So that way you can see some other ways to use them. I have a Christmas card coming up with them. So first there's the designer series paper and look how pretty it is. It's a specialty paper. I think all papers should just be specialty paper. And that usually means it has holograms, um, foil, something in it. Here's the piece I'm using today. So it's evergreen and soft succulent and gold are the colors in it. And then there's some cotton paper. Um, and it reminds me a little bit of crepe paper. It's really fun and it comes in evergreen and succulent. So um, to be honest, the reason I'm using succulent is because it's the one that pulled out of here. I meant to, I thought I had a, an evergreen, but it shows you that you can use both. So if you know lots of fun things that you can do with tissue paper, and it kind of has like this side's um, doesn't have a finish. This one has a little bit of a finish. Like I wouldn't say, it's not like our shimmer vellum. Maybe if we didn't have shimmer vellum, I might think this is a little bit shimmery. It's got a, it's got a texture, but it's not quite shimmer. So I can't wait for everybody who knows things to do with tissue paper. Um, I know how to build a homecoming float, um, but we'll start to see some cool things, I'm sure. So let's cut the things out first. So I have... Um, a piece of the brushed metallic gold. Now on my first card that I'm gonna show you in a minute, I just used regular gold, the gold foil, and it's because um, these are small pieces that are sitting on my desk. I actually have my retreat. I'm filming my retreat. So there's 12 projects and sometimes I just get bored and I'm like, I have to stop a minute. Um, so retreat everywhere. And then even to use the block that I have today because there's 12 projects for retreat, I had to, um, it's mounted on the back of one of our retreat sets. Those of you doing the retreat, you are going to love it. Even my husband, when he was helping me cut the cardstock, and he looked at it, and he's like, you really outdid yourself this time. So uh, you, I can't wait for you to see him. So remember, there's a coating on one side, and I'm going to cut the leaves out. But this stuff's so thin that you can cut them all at once. So some of them will be right side up. Some of them will be um, right side down. And it's just enough of a little bit of a texture that you can see it. So we're going to use three, these three dies on this card and then come back in the next couple of days because I'm going to show you the other dies and not with this stamp set. And then I'll do one with the stamp set, maybe with the dies, maybe with the paper. Um, I don't know because I haven't made it yet. I have a hundred ideas that have flown through my head 
using this set while it was working on retreat and it was sitting here. And then, you know, it's like, I'm going to take a break and I'm going to work on this. And you're like, yeah, I don't remember anything that I thought I might do with this. So this was completely new. So let's take these out. And then the only stamping I'm going to do, this is one of those cards where you kind of have to do it in reverse order. So this is a piece of soft succulent. I take my pick tool is laying here because I've used it for retreat, but I literally just shoved everything out of the way. You know, stampers, we start out with a clean table and then next thing you know, we're working in six inches of space. I'm down to my four inches. So here's, isn't that pretty? Look at that border. Super pretty. It's got some embossing. It's got some cutting. That's the name, cut and emboss. So I'm going to take my evergreen. This is the only stamping and see, retreat set, <laughs> new set. Now I have to find the stamp that, oh, there it is. I pulled the wheat set, the little piece of wheat, the wheat card. If in your retreat, wait till you see the wheat card. So super pretty. So here's my wheat <laughs> that will go back on here. So the close, cl I didn't plan this last thing of classes very well because sometimes I forget to switch over on my calendar. Um, so we had close class and retreat and I filmed one and then we went right on to filming the other. So I'm going to take these pieces and I'm going to put them through an embossing folder. And just because it's new in retreat, I used a lot of the music notes, but I also used this one and this is the time worn texture. I love it. And because it's new, we'll go with that. So I'm going to put this in here and look how pretty this is with that gold foil. Let's slide this in here too. This one's going to go crooked. I'm just going to make sure there's actually words on this, but there's speckles and that fits in just a speckle part. So no, it won't, I won't have sideways going words. I'm not going to move my pet emboss machine back over because seriously, I have no space. And when I moved it over a second ago, it kind of moved some of my pileys. So let's just go like this. You all know how to roll this through the folder. And if you don't, then let me know and I'll do another one and I'll show you how to roll it through. So got those. Now they just have that fun texture. And I love when our foils get texture, it um, totally changes them. And the reason I chose this one is look, like here, and I'll put a close up picture on my website. Um, here, nothing got um, through the folder and here it got a little bit. So it kind of changes that texture of the foil. So I'm going to fold this in half and then this fun strip here, we'll start with it because it's going to tell us where we have to place everything. So you can see this was six inches and obviously you don't need six inches for a card. So you can see, maybe you can see this line right here is where it went through the machine. So I'm just going to take my paper trimmer. And I'm going to use that as my guide. So it's pretty skinny, but as long as you just see, and you'll be able to see it, the dye machine just leaves an imprint. And I'll just take that off. That leaves us a nice straight edge, and I didn't have to worry about it when I was putting it through the machine. And there's a couple of pieces right here that didn't fall out. Okay, so now this is going to be over here. So let's add stick this on. There's another piece that didn't fall out. Oh, well, my tape grabbed it. So now it's out. So I'm going to put this, this is going to be the inside of our card. And I'm going to leave just a little, a little piece of green and then just flip it over and use your snips and just snip those pieces off that are too long. So now we have this really pretty thing. Now, obviously we wanna see this when we open up our um, card. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this here so I know that this fits. This is cut um, five and a half by three and a half. I think it's three and a half, maybe three. It looks like it's, it's three and a half because that's, and again, I'm gonna put that right there. Now you can open this up And slide this through your paper trimmer and give yourself the same little border right here that you have on the other side. Then you don't have to use any math and it's still super easy to do it that way. So here now we have a fun fold. Grab 
our little words. Add those first. And I'm gonna put it just so these flowers right here go onto the, so again, fun fold. Now I would probably, this is a hard card to write in this color, so I would probably get one of our fun labels. Like look, if you're doing the Christmas, the um, retreat, the seasonal labels have these giant fun ones. That one might be a little bit too big, but there's these big ones. And I like to just run these through um, cardstock and I would probably do it on this lighter succulent since there's no white on this card. And then if you stick that in there, you'll be able to write on that. I should have done that and then I could have used one of the stamps. But you know, I'm trying to get you guys all a, a, a beautiful card while I'm also trying to get retrieved them. So sometimes um, when I have to do, cause there's 12, 12 retreat cards and I like to get them done in one day. That's a lot of talking to yourself. And it's also a lot of time that my phone is busy because I turn on airplane mode and my dad's already called in between them. So, you know, it leaves it some time to be interrupted. Not to, you can't be interrupted. So this, remember I folded it over three times. So that means there's three of these on here. And I found it was just as easy. And you know, the great thing about tissue, it's this is more of a crepe paper because if you wadded up tissue paper, it would look like wadded up paper. This one, um, like when you wad it up, it flattens back out like crepe paper would. Mind you, I haven't played with it a lot yet. Grab that up there. It was, it was easier to do before when I was looking back here and not trying to let you guys see how I was doing that. So just pull them apart. So just do remember how many you put on there because they um, really smashed themselves together. I'm gonna put a little bit of adhesive right here. And these have super fun texture because they're that really light paper. So add one here, add one going down. And I'm gonna add just a bit more adhesive right over the top of that. This would be a pretty wedding card. Always pretty birthdays. So you got that. And then right there where there's a little bit of adhesive showing, I'm going to take my gold gems because we don't have the ones that go with this yet. And I'm just gonna add one right here over the top of that adhesive that's still kind of peeking through. The rest of it got covered. And then, I mean, you could stop because it's very pretty like that. I just wanted my tag to have a little bit more. I wanted this a soft succulent to look a little bit different than that soft succulent. So I just took my um, Wink of Stella. You wanna be careful because I stamped it with the evergreen. So that would smear if I got too much on there. But just add just a touch. And then that gives that a little bit more sparkle that the succulent back there doesn't have. Kind of makes it a bit more noticeable. So there is a beautiful card in, I don't know, you can whip these out in less than five minutes each once you know what you're doing and you're not talking. The longest part is really pulling the tissue pieces apart. So be watching for um, my class. Registration will open soon-ish. I would say some by late next week and it will close on no, on October 30th because I want to, this stuff becomes available on um, November 2nd and I'm going to place the whole order for the class that day. Um, that way we don't have to worry about any of the paper or the gems if they're here selling out. Um, and the gems will also be my free gift with purchase in November. That's not this month, but in November if you purchase from me. So I'll buy a bunch of those on the first day as well. Um, so be watching for that. And then again, I'm going to do something with a stamp set and something with the paper, not with the stamp set. And go check out my monthly subscription club. Um, there's a lot of people in it already. And I'd love for you to be part of it as well. Have a great day. Bye.